Yo guys, Overload here and welcome to today's video. Today I have for you a commentary based around some news that I found earlier on in the day. I know for a fact that a lot of YouTube channels have actually been posting this video um, about the new DLC weapon or a potential new DLC weapon coming in the future to Advanced Warfare. Now, I was looking around on Twitter and looking around on uh, YouTube and basically I came across this bit of information and Mike Condry actually posted a tweet on it. I'm going to read that out to you in a second but first before I do that make sure you go and check out Impact Bad. His link will be down in the description below. Thank you to him for uh, bringing us that gameplay that we can use and you'll be watching in the background. So let me get right into the commentary. So Michael Condre about a day ago-ish said hashtag advanced warfare throwback weapon. Uh, top answers include the ACR, Intervention, FAMAS, MP5, PP90, UMP45. Follow SH Games for a community poll soon. So this is really, really exciting and interesting news because they're bringing back a weapon that they have used in previous Call of Duties, and that could be either Modern Warfare 2, uh, COD 4, uh, and, you know, all the way up to Ghost. But I obviously think that, you know, the ACR and the Intervention, the, the guns from Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and maybe even Black Ops 1 might be some of the top uh, votes. And I'm really looking forward to this community poll uh, that's coming up because we get a chance to vote for one of our favourite weapons that's going to come to Advanced Warfare. And I want to discuss with you, and I want to ask a question to you guys. What do you actually think will be the best and most voted for weapon? Because I know for a fact that the Intervention and the ACR are the two most popular guns in Call of Duty, definitely by far. The Intervention was an amazing sniper rifle from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, you know, everybody, like, quickscoping was designed from the Intervention and the Sleight of Hand Pro. However, I think that a problem in Advanced Warfare is the fact that they don't actually have or... Uh, own Slight of Hand Pro or any way to draw in the weapon quickly. So they had to either put in a new perk to make it just like the one from Modern Warfare 2 or, you know, it's going to like aim in really slowly. So it's going to end up probably like the Ballista in a way or just like another more sniper rifle. Um, and that's kind of bad in a way. I don't really want that to happen at all. So I actually, my personal vote would, to be honest, go towards either the UMP45 or the ACR, because the ACR is an absolutely insane gun. I've always loved using it. It's like a laser beam. The one from NW3, the 6.8, I think it was called, uh, that ACR was definitely the best of me. I just absolutely adored that weapon. And it's, it's pretty much the only weapon that I used in that game, apart from the MP7. But then again, you know, the ACR does squash the MP7, let's face it. The ACR from One Warfare 2 had really, really nice iron sights, and that gun was an absolute laser beam. I must admit, I did get a couple of nukes with that. That was pretty cool. But to be honest, I'm really surprised at the AK, um, the AK-47. I almost said AK-12, then, God. No, I'm really surprised that the AK-47 hasn't come in. But in a way, now I just you know made a mistake and said AK-12. I do have reasons to believe that they obviously won't be bringing back the AK-47 due to the fact that the AK-12 is literally the same as the AK-47. And if you have like the AK-12G, the Ghost version, then that's also you know. Pretty much the exact same as the AK-47, so they won't bring that back at all. Um, some of the guns I'm quite surprised that aren't in there is, of course, the MP7. Uh, also, the MP5. I don't reckon. I don't think that was mentioned. I can't remember. I've just literally forgotten what the tweet said. Um, they're, they're two really good submachine guns, but um, because Advanced Warfare is quite assault rifle based, and I think that having some more submachine guns might be better and more beneficial for uh, Advanced Warfare. Um, and the PP, whatever the fuck it's called, yeah, that's quite a good gun. I really did enjoy that. Modern Warfare 3, cool times in Modern Warfare 3. The guns were very, very good, and pub stomping was in its prime at that point then. So, to be honest, uh, in a, like in conclusion kind of thing, I definitely think it should be the ACR. The poll will actually be coming up soon. I think we're going to post a video uh, letting you all know when that poll is, and obviously having a link towards it, so everybody has a chance to vote. So that's crazy, that's really good. I'm actually going to buy this DLC now. Uh, doesn't matter what gun comes out, I just want to use an old gun, because that's really cool. Um, and yes, yeah, so that's it for my video today and my commentary topic. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. It was an 80 gun streak on Black Ops 2 by Impact Bad. He's actually a really good player. He's looking at getting 100 subs so he can therefore post a montage. I think he's on around about 75-ish subscribers now. So if you give him loads of support, he only needs, what, 25 more subscribers until he gets to that big 100. So please make sure you go down to the description below and check him out. His link will be down there. And also, if you want to come down and follow me on Twitter and also follow, uh, you know, subscribe to my YouTube channel too. 
I would be very, it would be obviously very much appreciated. So guys, it's actually coming towards the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Overload, and I hope to speak to you all in the next one. Peace. Bed. Rip the IV off my chest, man, it's time to get some bread Cause I'm headed for the top